welcome guys today i am going to show you how to make a isometric word design so we, we're going to make it look a bit 3d and this is how it's gonna look after we've done with it so let's go to new illustrator new file let's select a4 portrait mode okay now first of all we're gonna need some text so we're gonna go to the text panel in the left we're gonna create some text and we're gonna type in d e e p deep we're gonna increase this, the size of it the default font is myriad pro and we're gonna we're going to go and make it a bit bolder so we're gonna go and make it bold so now that we have done with the text so this is the first step and we're going to going to increase the tracking a bit so we're going to increase the track tracking to 50 so it's it looks nicely even spaced out and pretty and then we're going to go and create outlines so what creating outlines does is it creates the text editable text into parts so after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate it so we're gonna go to transform and in the rotation uh, rotation box we're gonna type in 30 so it will rotate our text 30 degrees to the anti-clockwise and we, we have to reduce its, its height a bit also because we have to do isometric things so we're gonna type in uh, divide by 2 so it's a neat little trick so divide by two it will half the height and oops i i did a mistake there so we should not create outlines before uh, rotating the stuff so we'll control ZZZ. Z, Z. first rotate it 30 degrees then right click create outlines and then go to transform height divide by two enter so there you go so this is our skewed text and now we're gonna just scale it a bit so we can see it you guys can see it a bit more so this is the text so what we're gonna do is now is basically we're gonna draw a bunch of lines so we're gonna go to the pen tool and we have already created the paths outlines for the text so whenever you go to a corner it it's going to show you an anchor point so if you take your cursor to a corner of the path it will show you anchor point right there so just we have to just click on the anchor point and drag below till it intersects the path and click and the remaining thing that we don't want to uh, use like draw another point so we're just going to hit escape so by hitting escape it basically completes the line so you're gonna do the same for the other points also we're gonna click and drag down till it intersects and hit escape for the curves we're gonna intersect intersect properly yeah okay drag down by pressing shift intersect again and escape so D is done now so moving on to E. So for E, I'm gonna go to anchor point, shift and drag down and intersect. So what shift does it, it basically uh, allows you to draw a straight line. So your line does not wobble. So shift, intersect, intersect, escape, click, intersect escape click intersect escape click intersect and escape so we're gonna do this a bunch of times for all the corners for the e and the other e and also for the p as sometimes is what illustrator doesn't detect the intersection points so you have to re redo them sometimes but it's normal for it because we're not like making it very precise it's it's a good habit to check your work like 
how many lines you have done till now by selecting it moving on to the next e again for all the points i'm gonna probably speed up this section of the video so you guys don't get bored so i'll do it quickly intersect escape intersect escape intersect intersect escape intersect escape intersect intersect escape intersect intersect escape so moving on to p we're gonna check again how many lines we have drawn so yeah that that looks that looks ni nice it, it basically gives us a wireframe so we can see now going back to p intersect intersect escape intersect intersect escape intersect intersect escape the last line intersect and intersect okay so now we have completed all the lines we just gonna go back and look at all the lines we have drawn selecting it all and now we, what we got to do is basically we are done with the lines we're gonna build the shapes that we can color so what we have to do now is have to find the shape builder tool so going select it all first and the little two circles with the arrow on it is the shape builder tool so click on it and then come back to alphabets again so what it does at shape builder tools allows us to be build shapes so we'll create individual shapes by clicking on them it shows a little plus icon so click 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 those three shapes created click 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 so this is that's that's how easy this is to make individual shapes with shape builder so this is the easiest way oops so right right here you can see that it hasn't built it isn't detecting the full uh, separated shapes it, it is detecting the full shape so our lines are probably misaligned or not intersecting or somewhere so we're gonna delete them one two three deleted four deleted then we're gonna draw new lines properly this time intersect properly okay escape intersect intersect escape intersect intersect escape intersect why is it not intersecting all right we'll see if it detects it again select the whole thing go to shape builder shape builder it's still not detecting it we'll draw them once again so this is the thing that illustrator sometimes doesn't want to do stuff but you have to make it work somehow so i'll delete all the lines again and draw them again so we'll ungroup this p go to pen tool and Intersect it nicely in the anchor point. Pay attention to the anchor point. Oops. Okay. Add anchor point. Oh, it's it is doing that because I've ungrouped it. The thing. Yeah. So we'll, this thing it is doing because it's ungrouped. So we'll control Z Z Z. Group it again. And go to pen tool draw those lines again nicely this time oops straight lines press shift down guys again to the points shift down intersecting escape let's see if it's building it now shape builder so it's still not building it 
delete them once again or I'll try possibly try to align them by zooming in a lot or maybe what I'll do is I'll overlap them a little bit overlapping lines are fine you can always remove them later so probably overlap it a bit yeah intersect and overlap okay escape overlap escape overlap escape so let's see if it is detecting now going back to the shape builder tool shape builder yeah so now it's detecting the two shapes but it's not detecting the curves so just click on the two shapes hmm it's doing something funky let's try again let's select the whole thing zoom in again go to shape builder let's trim off the ends by pressing alt trim off the ends trim trim off the ends trim off the inside points and you you can do one thing you can go to the direct selection tool also you first will separate these shapes and give them a fill color right right now they are not uh, having any fill color so they are looking transparent so we'll select both of them it's hard to select a shape when it's it's it doesn't have a border a stroke or a fill so make sure your strokes have some kind of border for reference while selecting or just you can just properly select them precisely so I'll just select them precisely one just give it a black fill and two give it a black fill two okay so we've got two shapes that are separated we've got two more to go so this path is not being detected so what I'll do now is I'll probably hmm, let's see what we can do over here it's still not detecting it no it's not detecting so we'll do one thing we'll use the direct selection tool we'll probably try to align this direct selection tool and we'll try to intersect it properly and the bottom part also so you can move it using arrow keys left right but it's prefer more nicely done using the mouse so it ha it will help you draw straight lines so shift and intersect a bit more to the left let's see now so shape builder tool yeah so click and click so it's build it's build two two shapes for us right now and we'll give both of them a fill just select them and give them a fill select them give them a fill and done so we are basically now done with all the outlines for our uh, letters so what now i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the color scheme that i used earlier and control c and go to the new document and control v drag them up a bit and now we are gonna color our artwork so the middle one is a gradient so we're gonna use those that on the curves on the d and the p and the on the sides we're going to use a darker shade so let's just select all the sides now that would be in the shadows select 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 so these are these all are the portions that are, will be in the shadows and those would have a darker shade so go to the eyedropper tool and select the darker shade 
and this already looks a lot nice could could pass away as an abstract art but we're gonna make it even nicer so for the curves for the curves basically we're gonna use a gradient because curves have like curves uh, reflect light differently so we're gonna have a light shade on the right side and a dark shade on the left side so select both the curves and select the gradient and that is the curve now select all the rest of the black parts and go to the eyedropper and select the brighter color so here you go that's your artwork done the isometric styled letters that look 3d you can use them on a wallpaper or something or anywhere you want on websites and etc so yeah hit like on the video if you like the video share subscribe tell your friends that i'm doing tutorials for you guys and yeah peace out